Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do some payroll tracking by assigning tracking categories in your payroll setup. Now, a couple of things before we start. This video is part of a full course. So if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links in the description below to our courses. Also, I use the Australian version of Xero's demo company in this video. However, you will get value out of this video if you're using a different country's version because the principles are still the same. Okay, now a little bit of theory before we start. There are two settings that we need to assign tracking to, and they are employee groups and timesheet categories. Now in Xero, in order to achieve payroll tracking, you need to use tracking categories. So you can track your payroll by categories such as the location of the people, so if they're north, south, east, or west, or you've got some geographical locations like different states or countries, or you can set up tracking categories for departments for things like admin and sales, etc. Now, if you assign tracking to an employee group only, it will still be used in the timesheets categories as well. So if you only want to track by one tracking category, so location, for example, you only put it in the employee groups. However, if you need to track time differently to your other statistics for payroll, then you need to assign different tracking to the timesheet categories. So this is a little bit confusing to just look at the theory. So I'll show you how this works inside Xero. Okay, so over in the Australian demo company, I'll just go to settings and payroll settings. And here on the organization tab, down here we've got this payroll tracking section. And you can see here we've got employee groups and timesheet categories. So they were the two things that I was talking about in the intro. And you can assign tracking to both of these things together or you can do them separately. So they use tracking categories and you can see here in the demo company, we've got regions set up. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate the screen and show you that setup. Okay, so if we go back into our settings and we need to go for advanced settings and there we've got tracking categories. Okay, so here in the demo company, we've already got region set up. So that was that, that's region. And within region, we've got these different options. So we've got east side, north, south and, and west coast. So I'm not going to show you how to set more of this up, but you can add other options there as well, or you can rename them, etc. if you need to. But for the purposes of this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and select region and then save. Okay, so now we can track our employee stats by region, which means like this. Okay, so how does that work in practice? So if I duplicate the screen and then I go to payroll and employees, what you can do when you're setting up your employees, so we'll just use LeBron James here, is you can go to their employment tab and then over here where it's got employee group, that's where you've got this now. So you've got east, north, south, and west. So that's these over here. So it's applied region to the employee groups and now you can choose whatever you've got in this section here. So if you need more of them, you can put in more and then this drop down will be bigger. So let's choose East side for LeBron and click on save. Okay, so now if we just go to duplicate and we'll go to pay employees. Okay, so we've got a whole lot of pays that have been processed here before. So I'll just show you what happens if we run a report now. So we'll go into reports and we'll go down to our payroll reports. Let's get say the payroll employee summary and we do it by employee group and we can pick East side, which is what LeBron was in. And we'll choose this financial year and click update. You can see that nothing is found. So even though we just assigned that to LeBron, it doesn't actually go back and assign it to the previous pay runs. So there's still no, no data in there. And even this draft one here, I don't think it will work for that one either. So I'll go in 
and I'll just delete this draft. And then we'll add a new one. He's fortnightly, so we'll click on next. And then we'll post the pay run. Okay, and then we'll come back over here and we'll update the report. Okay, and now you can see LeBron is actually showing up in the east side report now. So obviously you can add more employees into that particular tracking option there, and you can also add employees into the other tracking options as well. But just remember, it doesn't go back and it doesn't grab their history and apply everything that's been posted in, in, in history. So the other thing is, like I said before, if you assign region here, it will apply to the timesheet categories as well if you don't select anything else there. So if we go and open another screen and let's go to timesheets and we'll just make a timesheet for LeBron. Oops. Okay, so we'll just grab his ordinary hours and we'll just put a little bit of data in there. Okay, so there's 32 hours there and approve it. If we come back over to our reports and then we'll grab a timesheet report and we'll go to employee group east side again and we'll grab the financial year. Okay, so now you can see that 32 hour uh, timesheet that we just put in and posted for LeBron is actually showing up in east side there. So even though we didn't put the region in here, it's using it from here. Now, that's how you do it where you can get the employee groups and the timesheets to track in the same way, so by region. If you want the timesheets to track in a different way, you need to set up another tracking category. So we'd need to add one in here. So let's say that was department, and I'll just put a few departments in here. Okay, like that, click on save. And now I'll come back over to the settings and I'll probably need to refresh this. Okay, so I'll come down and have a look. And there it is, department. Okay, so now I've got these set uh, to different tracking categories so we can track the time differently than we're going to track the rest of the statistics for payroll. And I'll click on save. Okay, so that's been saved. And just to let you know, it did take a few minutes for that to show up. So if it doesn't show up straight away for you, don't worry, it will after a few minutes. All right, so let's now go over to LeBron and I'll click on employees and we'll just reset everything over here. We'll go back to his employment tab. Okay, so you can see that there's no option there to put him into a timesheet category. So let's just go back over to where we're doing his timesheets. And we'll add another one. Okay, and we'll just pick LeBron and the period there and save. So what you do now is you choose the rate and this is where you choose the department. So we can put him in sales, for example. So over here, it's now got the department as the timesheet category. And that's got our options down there, admin, marketing and sales. So that's what we've got over here. So instead of assigning the, the timesheet category, if you like, in here, you actually just put it on the timesheets as you do the timesheets. So let's just pop a couple of hours in there and then approve it. Okay, so we've got another timesheet in there now. And now we can go over to our reports and we'll get the timesheet summary. Okay, so for this one, we can just say employees all, date range, I'll do this financial year again, earnings rate all, and this is where we can pick the timesheet category now. So he was in sales and click update. And there he is, there's his 16 hour timesheet. And that's the only one that we actually assigned to sales. We didn't have the option there when we did his um, previous timesheet, that one there. So that's how you do it. That's how you can set up different tracking for your timesheets 
then you can set up for tracking everything else um, in payroll. So you can see there I've done it by region and by department. Okay, so that's how you can set up your payroll tracking in Xero.